sort of lost track of how many artists have worked on me. I have no idea. I think I didn't get any tattoos in Asia. Uh... How many tattoo artists was tattooing on someone like me? Sometimes you see people, they have a lot of tattoos and you wonder how many artists worked on them, how many people tattooed on them. Today we have some interviewees here which we ask this question and see how many people tattoo on them. Do they even remember? Do they have any idea? Or if maybe they even have only one artist and trust only one artist? Very interesting topic. Let's find out. I have no idea. Loads, loads and loads. Over the years I have been a bit of a tattoo slut to be honest and I can't remember my body count. <laughs> All the people that have tattooed me in the recent years are my closest and best friends. Actually not much people, I'd say Se around seven people actually. I have no clue how many tattoos tattoo me, but many, many, many. I think the most funny was uh, my foot tattoo with Raul. And most of the times when I get tattooed, it's, it's always funny because always I because I have some weird things when I get tattooed. If it's too painful, I start to crack completely. I start to laugh all the time. And uh, I think probably the one with Raul was the funniest one. Um, twenty-seven tattoo artists have tattooed on me. I guess, yeah, twenty-seven. So on my own body, I can say most of the coverage I have is from the same persons. But under the line, I had hundreds of people tattooing on me. I don't can say any number, I don't remember. But probably every friend I have was tattooing at some point on me or made something on or in my body. Like he hurt every friend I have close in my life at some point in this journey was hurting me. <laughs> in some ways. <laughs> a few artists who work just on big projects. Um, I mentioned in an earlier question that one artist um, did 80 to 100 hours on me in the span of five weeks. And you know, I've had other artists just do my both arms and my neck and another one do both my legs and my ears and my neck again. So um, I definitely tend to go to artists for big projects, but I've bounced around a bit because I've traveled a lot and um, I've sort of enjoyed the journey of having some of those tattoos and sort of the connection with different artists and um, talking with them about their art and their experience. But when I seek out artists, I do tend to um, look for a very particular style. Someone that has a very established style of their own that I like and respect. I definitely go more towards a, like a lot of freehand artists these days. That, that seems to appeal to me the most, especially for my face. I mean, I guess the funniest tattoo experience though is definitely getting my genitals tattooed. And it's sort of being this dare, like the artist had never done anyone's genitals, like either labia or butthole. And I mean, I didn't have mine done yet because I wasn't just gonna walk into a shop and ask for that. I was sort of waiting for the right context. And since he dared me and I dared him back that he wouldn't do it um it just lined up and finally i got it done and i was pretty stoked for it <laughs> he seemed pretty happy about it too um <laughs> definitely a unique experience and, and pretty funny um probably uh my funniest tattoos i have are the genital ones <laughs> and i definitely remember that story pretty fondly but uh i don't tend to share that story as widely or what i have there um it's more a joke for people that know me <laughs> Hey Squirrels, when you like my art, philosophy, my idea of life, I wrote a book as well, which I speak about all of this. Plenty of art books like this too and much more. On top I have many of my arts printed on high quality paper. I have it on canvases. So there's endless of stuff what I ever created on our webshop. Beside of this, I created plenty of nice clothings. I designed my own bags, hoodies, zippers, jackets, girly lines, and so much more. All of this you find on our website, site25.com. Feel free to have a visit and see you. Maybe one day I calculate how many tattoos have tattooed me, but I've got tattooed in many countries from many different artists. And uh, yeah, in South America, North America, Australia, Europe. I think I didn't get any tattoos in Asia. Tattoos that I've got in different parties or hotel rooms or 
random places on travels with friends. On oh, one, we, we tattooed Matt, dot by dot tattoo Matt, Matt Kirk, with Muffe, with, uh, we had this hand poking stick, three meters long, and Muffe was on the other end, and then I was directing the stick on Matt's leg, and that was pretty funny. We did it on a lake, on a pier, on a summer night here in Finland, and th that was fun and beautiful surroundings. So I had uh, maybe from uh, tattoos from maybe like 25 people different because uh, my biggest tattoos, there was uh, just uh, one friend that tattooed me like all my back and the arms and the chest and the hands too. So this was one person and uh, my legs was all friends that had. I think that was like uh, mm, all my friends that they didn't have uh, do any tattoos so I was like ah are you doing nothing okay let's do do one tattoo here and you see how it works you know so I have a lot of tattoos that uh, it's just the friends that they do the first tattoo on me so yeah as you see it can vary from any kind of numbers and um, at some point you also a collector so you are very i'm very curious if you are a collector of different artists different tattoos whatever you know leave it in the comment tell us your number and um, see you the next time peace out <laughs>